Hey guys, what's going on? I've got another Alliance War video for you today. And today my Alliance is going to be facing off against E-Squad, Elite Squad. So this is a little bit late. I've been moving, um, and technically it's not even a season war anymore. But I still wanted to go ahead and upload it since I recorded it. And um, I also have a crystal opening at the end of this. Um, so we're going to go ahead and select our team here, and we've got Nick Fury, Ghost, and Wasp, and we're going to be starting out on Path 9. So it looks like our first fight on the Aegis Heavy node is going to be an Agent Venom, and I think we've all seen this fight a few times before. So the, uh, the trick here, if you ever have somebody that you can't re reliably parry, um, you just want to go ahead and back yourself up into the corner. Bait out a, um, a heavy attack from them and counter with your own. And I haven't found a champion yet that this doesn't work with. Uh, knock on wood, so yeah, that's kind of what we're going to be doing here. So we got our first heavy there, and our second heavy, and our third. So we've got the indestructible charges removed. And I do apologize, this was a few days ago, so I don't remember exactly what happened, but that fight's over now. And then on our next fight, I actually cut it out because um, I stopped recording it, but I had a disconnect, so I had to come back in, heal Ghost back up halfway, and come back into this fight and do it again. And then I almost thought I was going to have another disconnect at the end, and you'll see that. Um, we just moved, so I wasn't um, on my usual Wi-Fi network, and yeah, it just... I don't know what happened. So we're gonna bait out the special one. Drop our special two. And that will trigger his backup recovery. So I'm trying to be really careful about his charges here. Uh, for his power gain. But we go ahead and finish with our own special one. And right here I thought I was gonna disconnect again. Um, but it ended up being okay. So, we're going to be moving on to our next fight now. In our next fight, uh, we scouted it, and it's going to be a six-star Mordo. And again, this is the Aegis Heavy node. So we're going to get our last heavy attack off here. He's got his power gain now. Bait out the special one. And I believe that this person was running Mystic Dispersion. Which is fine, but it just is something to be mindful of. So we're going to go ahead and drop our special two. That almost kills him, but he got his power gain. And then he resisted my heavy attack. Luckily, he didn't punish it. And that took him to a special three. I wasn't worried. I knew this wouldn't kill me or anything like that. It just negated some of the willpower healing that I had gotten during the fight. That's okay. Um, fight's over. And now we're going to be moving along to section two, um, which is going to be path five for this war. And I believe one of my recordings uh, didn't work, um, but I did help with the uh, that safeguard note as well. So I'm going to go ahead and boost up here.
I was a little bit worried about this fight just because um, Stealth Spidey's animations can be a little bit weird. Um, and with Dodge as the global, I knew that I was just going to have to do one-hit combos with Ghost. And with his uh, two-hit mediums, um, sometimes he can just be a little bit hard to punish. So, I'm going to go on in here. I think it's only a rank four. And if there's ever a fight that I'm not like a thousand percent comfortable with, I like to use the tech power boost. That way, like pretty much anything, any fight that you have with Ghost is, is going to be over in one or two special twos. So here we are. I was trying to get that parry off. So we got one there. Now he's unblockable. And I just lost my indestructible boost. And you only want to back up one time for Stealthy's Heavy. If you back up twice, he will parry you when you go in to retaliate. So here I'm going to drop my special two, and his health pool is so small. That fight's over. So now we're going to be moving on to this King Groot. And yeah, we're just going to use Ghost. Should be easy. I wasn't worried about this fight at all. Got a nice intercept there. I'm going to try to bait out special ones. And I guess this guy was running willpower. Or I'm sorry, uh, suicides, which is kind of weird. So I'm going to drop my special two here. Almost finishes the fight. He's going to throw his special one, and one more hit will do it. And like I said, we did end up, uh, I did lose some footage, but we did end up winning this war. So now let's move along to the crystals. So I went ahead and got this featured five star crystal. And there are two people I'm looking for, Warlock and Clairvoyant. So I'm going to open this first one, and we got a Taskmaster. So I, um, when I pulled this, I was pretty close to a second one, so I just decided to finish exploring Uncollected and get a second one. This was just like an hour later. So I'm like, nope, I'm going to go for this one. And I'm going to get one of the people that I want. So let's see what happens. And we got Warlock. So I was so excited for this. Um, I've been waiting. He doesn't need to be awakened, but I uh, I do have two tech gems, so I am going to awaken him. Um, I took him right up to rank 5. Um, I'll show you here. You can see in this screenshot uh, where I pulled him, and I spent like 5 minutes bragging, and then just immediately started ranking him up and took him, uh, took him right up to rank 5. So anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.